Good afternoon, welcome to Run Like Gaming. So we're going to be doing another game. Uh, this one's a little bit older of a game, but it's actually one well, I used to play quite a bit when I was younger. Uh, this is called uh, Machiavelli the Prince, which is kind of like a trading game. And it was on the... basically I created for the DOS. And as you're trading, you're trying to acquire more money so that way you can buy cardinals in order to overtake the Pope and become the Pope. Or to get uh, Senate seats in order to uh, control the Parliament, pretty much. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with just baseline stuff. Uh, we'll just make this more about actual trading and stuff. So we're going to knock out the pirates a little bit and the storms. We're going to make it a random map in about 100 turns. So let's go ahead and knock the ocean percentage pretty high. We'll make a couple small rivers here. <laughs> and we'll let that build a map. And we'll go with run delay. We'll just grab the bird because it's usually easier to keep track of. And this is the map that may or may not be true. So some of these symbols might actually be cities, but sometimes they may not be, so it's always hard to tell until you've explored it. And usually a good safe bet is to start out with glass. It's fairly cheap. Uh, as you find more cities, you can pretty much uh, find out what the different prices of different goods are. But for now, let's go ahead and start exploring. Eh, we can make a little profit here. Nothing major, but... And that's silk, so... And for this one, we'll also buy a bunch of glass. And so different things that you can do if you go to the church, which, yeah, so like right now, if, we, if there were any cardinals available, it would cost us a thousand each. Uh, every so often, the Pope will either die or get assassinated, because you can actually kill him as well. And then basically, each of these countries will vote to see who they're going to put in charge of the Pope. And as you get uh, members for that, you can also vote for yourself as well. Uh, this particular area is to get Doge, or Doge, I guess, which is like the head of the Senate, pretty much. And then he allows you to get different positions, like there's a naval fleet, a road builder, um, I think this is land army, and then you can also accuse and kill off other uh, popes down here. So, for 495, we can get a 90% chance that we'll actually uh, bribe this guy. Though, honestly, right now, that might not... It might be good to get some of these people, but... Could probably really use some more money. So there are some available now. And these actually do get you income every so often, so it's kind of worth it to actually get a good baseline of them as well. Alright, so in this case... Yeah, the Cardinals give us 75 per turn, so... 
and that was with one cardinal so hopefully as we get more it's going to increase that quite a bit all right so I guess we could sell these two but we're not gonna really make much back out of it I mean there's not anything to buy afterward is more what I'm getting at uh, fish so if I bring it back to cannibalia uh, this will give us a 20 uh, gold difference so what we'll probably do, do though is we'll probably continue traveling to see if we can find some new locations Afford another. We cannot. Alright, so we made 77 this round. So we're definitely getting there. Alright, so we found a cross, which gave us another 996. So. Uh, here, yep, so we could sell the two fish, get a little bit of profit, about 25 per. Uh, this place sells gold pretty cheap, from the looks of it. Yeah, so we can get about double the price if we sell it down there in uh, Venice. Or barley. Or, I guess in this case it's called grog, but... So I may buy some of the gold. But it may not hurt to actually get like a camel going back and forth because you can actually get land. Oh, didn't mean to go there. But yeah, I can get land units to go back and forth here. And gold there is 232, so. good, but actually let's go ahead and get a camel going. Alright, so we're going to buy it at Marseille's here. And I guess we'll just get two camels. I don't think there's really a difference between the two, but... Just go ahead and buy two. Alright, and then we'll go into enter turn. And let's head to Antioch. So at this place we can actually buy luxury items. So that might be beneficial for us. Because usually those sell pretty good, so. Well, it's about 140 profit there. Our sales will be about a 60 profit. So nothing too, too major right now. glass. I guess we could buy two of those and some grog. So I guess one thing we can do here is buy
All right, so someone discovered the covenant. And as you can see, the Pope is fairly sick right now. Which means he's probably about to go pretty soon. Alright, so we're probably going to go ahead and sell the grog real quick. See if we can get the caravan real quick. All right, so they do need grog, and they do need bars of gold. So oh, let's go and match that so we can sell that too. Alright, so we probably need to find out where cloth would be good at, so... Uh, so if we trade... Actually, Paris is very, very close. Antioch... So two scores away, we can add about 50 per, so... And then Paris, about 60 for four squares away, so probably a good idea if we just hit up Antioch there. It might be just like a really quick source of extra cash for us. for that, so, I don't know, if anything, we might want to explore further with that one, too. So, in this case, the Pope died. We only get one vote here, so it's not going to really help us a lot. Which most likely means France is probably going to take this one. Which is fine. I didn't plan on winning Pope quite yet. So, Triple E. Uh, I think we could do... Well, it's still not bad, though. Well, four furs. Venice will pay a hefty, hefty price. I still want to try and get us um, yeah unfortunately I kind of messed that up a little bit but alright so we can't afford another cardinal right now So as you can see, pretty much everybody voted for France. So All right, so we have a little bit of a trade we can do here. So what we're going to do is start up a small cycle here. And pretty much we're just going to have him go back and forth for a little bit, so he'll be completely automated for that. Uh. Alright, 
right, and that should make us a little bit of extra money there. Alright, so luxury items, we could drag this down to Venice. Paris would be about 50 profit. Let's go back here. Kolaris would be a 40 profit. Paris is kind of far right now. Alright, yeah, so we're just gonna buy these up. It's not gonna be a lot of profit, but... Uh, I guess we can just buy all of them up. So Venice still pays pretty good for that too. So we could probably make the long track down. Alright, so at this point, we're broke. So we're going to want to... Try and get some sort of presence in the dodge. Unfortunately... I don't know what we'll be able to afford right now. see who we got here. So he's already bought up three senators. And then he is one. So for 1500 it's going to cost us a little bit. Right, so we're going to bribe him out. Because hopefully what we're doing is we're going to work to get a position with the dodge. And that would probably benefit us much more if we could actually manage that. Some more of these first. Alright, so for twelve hundred sixty percent. myself in hopes that maybe I might win this. I'm not extremely hopeful, but hopefully. Alright, so neutral party still won. At the very least, hopefully we'll get a position. 
on their government thing. Because usually it'll tell you, like, you've get got this particular position now. Yep, so we are now the world builder. So we'll sell off everything here. So I guess we gotta find out whether sediments can be worth a lot, which it looks like it does have. So we'll get about 175 off that. Or coconuts, which. Yeah, so it's about the same. Uh, how about a. Basra or Tripoli. So Basra will make about 50. Yeah. So if anything, we could just bring that over to Basra. We'll just grab one of the two. Alright, so pretty much since we got Road Builder, uh, we're able to build so much. I think we have to spend at least half, but we have to spend. We get up to a thousand to spend. That all comes out of your own funds, uh, but you can basically avoid doing it, but usually you lose popularity in doing so. So, I figured we'd go ahead and build a few things. So they hung one of our senators. Unfortunately, that means we're going to have to go about trying to get a new one afterwards, so... So, three, six, seven... And that's going to help us get to Venice a little bit quicker now. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up with glass. And probably the next thing is we're going to want to get some of our cardinals back. Yeah, so we spent a little bit extra. Really? I just got them. <gasps> You this very little bit. Alright, so we're gonna sell all these. I think I could sell first there. Yep, so about a fifty profit. So basically what we're going to do is pick up first here. We'll go here. Uh, we're just going to pick up three and three. Because it'll kind of help with the prices just a little bit. So that way we're not exhausting their supply completely. Pick up 
buffers again. Back to there. Last us at least a turn or two. All right, so we're going to sell the glass here. with this we may as well pick up silk. Then we're gonna want to build roots again. Hoping there might be a city over there somewhere. Alright, so we'll buy another cardinal. Because basically we're trying to get positioning, so when the Pope goes again, we should be able to do a little bit better on it. hung one of my other senators. So as you can see, throughout this entire thing, you're basically going back and forth to try and gain positioning, or trying to achieve a victory over the other people here. Now the downside is, you're constantly doing pretty much an uphill battle to try and keep your own stuff alive, so... a few more cardinals again, if there's any available, which there are. And basically my goal is going to be to actually take over the, the Pope next, and I'll probably aim for the Senate after that. Sell this here. Yeah, that's gonna expand, I guess. to buy two more again. Another thing too is we can also increase our popularity, which is another good place to dump our money at. What this does is it gives us a little bit additional popularity, which allows us to uh, buy senators a little bit cheaper and do a lot of other things like that. But we're going to try to do this. And then another thing too is you can also attack other people's popularity, and that makes their senators a little bit easier. Because uh, a few other things in this game, here I'll show you the, you could do like an arsonist, which will burn out warehouses, so if anyone has a warehouse, they can go and destroy it. Uh, another one is a slander, they just go up there and talk badly about these other people. Then the assassin. 
So if you wanted to kill someone's senator, or the Dodge, or the Cardinal, or the Pope. Uh, so let's say if we wanted to kill the Pope. Okay, well, we can't afford it anywhere now. I was hoping it would tell us a price, like, okay, this is how much it would probably run you. But apparently it didn't. Sell those. Right. And since we have these roads already built up, it's going to be very quick to get a lot of the additional money. So basically, we're creating our own area. Unfortunately, he also has some stuff nearby us here, which is going to decrease our profit margin because he's getting a cut of what's happening. So we're probably going to have to deal with this real quickly. Uh, pretty much to do that, we're going to probably have to either attack him or attack the cities. If we attack the cities, then we can cut off other people's supplies there. Unfortunately, we're stuck not being able to do anything about it right now. Alright, so luckily our Cardinals are giving us about 600 per... Oh wait. So I probably need to spend a little extra here real quick. So let's go ahead and build roads down here. That we can connect Hamburg and Marcel. So, we can finally buy into, let's see here, okay, so we probably want to get into the Dodge again. In fact, we'll probably wait till the end of the turn. So we're going to go back and forth again, and just let him pretty much continue on. So we're going to need to at least spend 500 here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, I guess 5. So I guess the question, let's see, he has 2, well I guess it's going to be the neutral faction that will win if we don't about some of his stuff. Uh, 30%. No, he just took our money and left. Alright, well at least we're gonna get some sort of position, whatever that may be.
Let's go and buy two of those. And we're just gonna try a new place. I think at this point we pretty much, you know, milked that one out pretty good already. At this point, what we're gonna probably take a look at is if we can grab any more seats here. No, I don't think they've actually voted yet. So we'll grab that one. We'll grab that one. So it'll give us three seats so far. Then we'll go and vote for ourselves. Because basically, as long as someone votes for me, I might win. It's hard to say, though. Oh. Yeah, so it might run into a little bit of problems this round. Mostly since I didn't actually build any roads this round, so I'm probably gonna lose some popularity. Okay, so it's only two. Alright, so a neutral party. So basically a neutral party won that one, so they're going to be able to choose positions and all that stuff again. still income at least, so that's always a positive. Alright, so we're going to make a little bit of money here. Grab some of that. And let's head down to Venice. At this point, let's go ahead and make, get our glass. Because again, even though it's not a huge profit, when you have several units that are doing it, it definitely adds up pretty quickly. So let's say glass. So probably want to bring that to Marseille. We do have three seats at least, so definitely getting there. And how do we look here? So three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can hire some mercenaries. I guess that might not be a bad option. I 
and they can move anywhere. So what we might try to do is take over a city nearby. Oh, I guess we have to build more. So he's still doing what he's doing. And him, he's gonna go up to Marseille. And do we have any more? Nope. Still none there. Alright, so what we might actually work on then is our popularity. So we'll probably go ahead and do that. Because at least the villa is going to help us a little bit when it comes to trying to get the dodge. Yeah, because we're looking at 1,200 for 55%, mostly due to the fact that our popularity is moderately high, so... Whereas bribing one of theirs is going to be a little more difficult. Oh yeah, I guess we got to build roads again. I'm not really building roads that would be useful right now because other people might take advantage of it as well. Whereas I'm trying to gain advantage over everyone else. Unfortunately, some of the roads I built at the upper side there, they're kind of that game as well. So that trade's still going on, which we're doing fine with. Alright, time to get to Mecca. So, we're gonna gain control over that. Unfortunately, they killed one of our cardinals. And the Pope looks like he's about to go. So, about two more cardinals. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, so we're getting to the point now that we actually have the majority. Silver glass. Alright, let's see where this will actually sell for. Alright, so Hamburg's fairly close. 
And since we now control Mecha, we can actually bring it into Mecha instead. Which might be a good idea. If I decide to actually activate them correctly. Alright, so I guess we could probably attack here next. I think we might. Yeah. Okay, so it, yeah, pretty much attacking him was kind of a painful thing to do. I didn't think it would hurt us quite as bad as it did, but that's yeah, fine. We'll just pay some money to get things running again. So three, four, and five. Hopefully can vote herself in here. Three, four, five, six, ten. So if they all vote for the same person, they'll break even with me. Well, I guess in theory, I could just assassinate one of theirs. Uh, so let's get rid of a cardinal. So pretty much as long as they don't vote for all the same person, we should hopefully... Yep, so since he voted for himself, he voted for himself, and everyone else voted for them, we now are the Pope. Which now means we get a little more control. We'll call some crusaders. Because pretty much if we're going to be the Pope, we may as well get as much stuff as we can out of it. Down 
Ini mereka. I guess we can... Uh, yeah, may as well. As I don't think we can lose much more popularity for that, so... Pretty soon we'll also have the Holy Crusade as well, which I'm not really sure what that entails. But hopefully it's a pretty decent side military. city as well. Because pretty much gradually what we're going to do is try and see if we can overtake this particular island here. So basically burn down warehouses, burn out warehouses, more threats. Take a look. All right, so we're looking at around four grand. Well, we actually already have three positions, so that's good. He has three. One, one, two. That's costly. Yourself up and hopefully knock him down a little bit. Actually, which, one, which one was it? So we're wanting to get this one here because if we can knock his reputation down just a little bit, that may make it cheaper next round. Actually, I don't even know if I can afford to do that and build roads this round. Here, let's double check. I guess every time I buy Cardinals, I also get money out of it as well. I guess there's that. Okay, so we should have a lot of extra money next round. So, slander batter. So we can't afford that. And... Yeah, let's really lose some popularity over it. So, 
three, four, five. So, one of the senators was hung, so that knocked it a uh, batter down one, which means I need to pull one more vote here. need to make as much money as we can here. So, at this point, we really, really need to make sure we get in here and take something. Oh, that's cheap enough. So, four... So they do have to vote for each other for that to go through. And we'll lose some popularity because we didn't actually spend on the roads. Didn't have a whole lot of option that round because we really wanted to make sure that we took a dodge if we're able to. Alright, so probably what I'll do is I'll end this particular video. If you've enjoyed watching these so far, definitely uh, subscribe and or like it. Uh, even comment below if you have any feedback on it. Uh, what I'll probably do is I'll continue on through probably the whole hundred years if able. So you'll probably see several more of these videos. Uh, probably make releases like once a week or so. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed actually watching Run Light Gaming, and you have a good day.